I doubted that gratitude could give me health and happiness, but now I know differently. Well, it actually works, and now scientifically we know why. Because built into every one of our cells is the fountain of youth. <laughs> What's the fountain of youth in the cell? Well, it's something called telomeres. Telomeres, they are special parts of the DNA. So when you open up the nucleus of the cell, the chromosomes come out, and there are 46 chromosomes, 23 from your mother and 23 from your father. But what is a chromosome? Well, what it is is a sleeve of protein wrapped around a double helix of DNA. And the significance about this is the telomeres, as you can see in this picture of an X and Y chromosome, stained red are the telomeres at the ends of the chromosome, where the ends of the DNA are. I say, so what is the telomere? It's extensions of DNA after the genes, meaning it's a part of the DNA that doesn't program anything. It's just extended DNA. I say, why would you have extended DNA at the end? And the answer is profoundly simple, and that is this. If you understand how the DNA is reproduced, first there's an enzyme that comes in when it's time to reproduce the DNA, and that enzyme is called the helicase. Remember, DNA is a helix, and a helicase, case means enzyme, it's an enzyme that breaks the helix. And so as the helicase moves down the DNA, it splits it into two separate strands. So as illustrated in this picture right here, the DNA of just one strand is the one we're focusing on, and you can see where all the red little marks are in the DNA, that's where the gene programs are. But at the end of the DNA, there are different little marks, and this is where the telomere is. And I say, why should we have a telomere? At the ends of the DNA strand, at the very ends are extensions of DNA. But these extensions don't program genes. These are just extra pieces of DNA. So as you can see in this illustration, the red part of the DNA, that's where the gene programs are. But at the very end, the green part on that DNA is the extra extensions called the telomeres. And I say, so okay, so why do we have telomeres? Well, here's the most important reason of all. Because when the enzyme comes in that copies the DNA, called a polymerase, it's like a train that lands on the DNA as the tracks. And as the polymerase moves down the track, it leaves behind it in a wake a copy of the DNA that it was riding on. So as the train is moving down the DNA strand, it creates a duplicate piece of DNA behind it. This is how the DNA is reproduced. But the serious part is this. When the enzyme gets to the end of the strand, guess what? It cannot copy the piece of the DNA that it's sitting on because the next move, that enzyme, that little train will fall off the track. So why is it important? So as you see, when the polymerase enzyme lets go of the DNA, the new piece of DNA is shorter than the first copy. And I say, why is it relevant? Because every time the DNA is copied, the last little piece can't be copied. So every time it's copied, the DNA gets shorter and shorter and shorter. And then what will happen is, well, if you run out of the telomere portion, the next time you copy the DNA, you're gonna cut off piece of the gene. And that's when aging, disease, and depression begin is when the DNA runs out of telomere. Well, at first it was thought the length of the telomere would determine how long you could live because it determined how many times a cell could divide. A scientist back in the 1960s by the name of Leonard Hayflick did a calculation. He said if the telomere is so many units long and you lose a little piece every time the cell divides, how many times can the cell divide? I say, well, why is that important? Because we're specifically talking about the stem cells in our body that divide all the time, replacing the worn and broken out cells that die every day. So stem cells have to keep dividing and their progeny contribute to the repair. But now there's a problem. How long can your stem cells last? And the simple reason is this, when the stem cells run out at that point, we start to age very quickly, and that's when disease and depression are characteristic. So the whole point about this with Leonard Hayflick, he did a calculation, he said, ah, if you count the number of cell divisions and look in the lifetime of an individual, guess what? An individual can live about 120 years. Wow, how convenient. That's about how long people live. So it was believed that our life it was actually determined by the length of these telomeres. Well. Something exciting happened. 
A woman scientist came into the picture by the name of Elizabeth Blackburn. And what does she see? She saw at the ends of the DNA where the telomeres are, there is an enzyme called telomerase. Telomerase is an enzyme that adds extensions to the telomere. So if the enzyme is working, the telomere can get longer and longer. I said, well, what would be the consequence of increasing the length of the telomere? And the answer, you can divide the cells on and on and on without running out of the DNA telomere. So what are those things that activate the telomerase? What are those things that inhibit the telomerase? Firstly, let's go over the things that actually stop the enzyme from working. These are the things that will cause you to prematurely age and start to express all the characteristics of disease and depression associated with aging. And I say, well, what are those things? Well, firstly, poor nutrition. Poor nutrition will cause the enzyme to cease functioning and aging will occur much faster. And then it gets into things like childhood abuse and domestic violence and post-traumatic stress disorder. I say, why does that influence the enzyme? Well, think about it this way. When people are abused or when they're living in a world of violence, how much do they really want to live? There's a psychological underneath story going on. I don't want to be here. The violence, the stress, I don't want to be here. That's an unconscious belief, but guess what? That belief will stop the telomerase enzyme from working and you'll die sooner according to that wish of that belief. And there are two very important factors that also will inhibit the enzyme. Number one is a loss of love or actually not having any self-love. And the significance of that is without love, life is more a life of isolation. And that kind of isolation doesn't really encourage anybody to desire to live longer. So when you lose love or you're not having any self-love, we will shorten our lifespan. And then a most significant influence on the enzyme is not having any purpose. Just think what that means. You wake up in the morning with nothing to do, nowhere to go, and all of a sudden, what is the feedback? I don't have any reason to be here. Well, interesting enough, that belief in the biology of belief is the factor that can shut down the enzyme. And this is why, for example, why many people upon retiring have a very short lifespan after the retirement. Why? They lose their function. They lose their purpose in life. And the feedback of the nervous system is, well, I'm not doing anything. And therefore, unconsciously, that individual will cancel the enzyme and have a much shorter life. And then the positive things that will enhance your life, give you a much healthier, longer existence on this planet, are things that activate the enzyme. Good nutrition and exercise, of course, increase our health, and this will activate the enzyme because it says we're trying to stay healthy and alive. Happiness and gratitude, now that's the big one. Happiness and gratitude means you love your life so much that you want more. So unconsciously, you will activate the enzyme to increase and enhance your life. This is also associated with a positive outlook because if you have a positive outlook, that means you're looking toward a future. And again, feedback says then we're gonna have to activate this enzyme to have that future. And the last two aspects that enhance the enzyme and give you long life are very important, and that is, again, having that self-love, appreciating yourself, which means I'm enjoying and appreciating my life experience. And when you're in love, that, of course, drives you to stay around even longer, and that will activate the enzyme. And lastly, and most importantly, is being in service, meaning you have something to do and what the feedback of the system is says, I can't end now, I have to be here longer, I have something to do. And so being in service is one of the most important things to extend your telomeres and keep you around. And in conclusion, the information about telomeres and telomerase is very important because they represent the equivalent of a fountain of youth in every cell. And between your mind and your cells, the biology of belief reveals how your consciousness and your thoughts can extend your telomeres by activating telomerase when you appreciate life, when you have gratitude, and when you're looking for love and happiness on the planet, you can extend your life. So interesting, you're very powerful to change your life and make it one of happiness, joy, and health for a long, long time. If you like Succeed with Knowledge, subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And thanks a million. Cheers.